All right, folks, three simple steps to keep brim alive in a cooler for weeks. It works for perch, too. Number one is temperature. You cannot leave this, whatever you're using as a tank, you can't leave it out in the sun. You can use it while you're fishing, but storing it, you, you don't want to keep it in the sun. The heat will warm that water up, kill them quick. You got to change this water out. I change it out twice a day. You might get away with once a day, but their ammonia from the urine kill them quick. You know, smaller the tank, the more you got to change out the water. The last step is aerating your water. I use uh, quiet bubbles. I got actually got two of these. I upgraded. I got the longer hose with a bigger air stone. They run off double, uh, not doubles, but D batteries. Uh, any type of D battery that from what I've used will run this pump non-stop three to four days You can run it off one battery. I haven't tried that But running off two batteries works well for me. And like I said, I got two of them. So But right here, this is just a five gallon bucket, you know, I'm catching the bait leaving them in here I'm actually going to put them in my cooler when I leave I added this clip just to show this brim had actually swallowed this hook. All you got to do is cut the hook, cut the line about an inch or so out of his mouth. And this fish lasts, him. I fished with this fish on Sunday, three days later. Here's the end of, the end of my little bait run. I'm just going to put this brim in this cooler. This ain't nothing but a maybe a 48, co 48 quart cooler. And I can easily keep 15 brim in here alive. You got, you got to... Remember, you know, so many fish and versus how much water you got a it's a fine line there, but I think here I got eight or so brim. I'm actually gonna take these brim home. I have a, a bait tank at the house. It's uh, nothing fancy. It was made out of a 50 gallon drum, some duct tape and blowed insulation with a piece of wood on top. I mean, you can go spend two three hundred dollars on a bait tank I used to have one i don't have it anymore I keep a live bait tank works great i actually have a 150 quart cooler too that i use as a live well for uh catfishing tournaments and i also when i do bait runs on the boat i bring it and i mean i can keep a lot a lot of brim and perch in it but it's just simple stuff anyone can do this stuff um I, you don't have to have a tank like this you can still keep them in your cooler at your house I do this because it's just so much easier. I installed a drain on this, and it's just so much easier to change the water out. I change it before I go to work and when I get home from work. I'm actually going to run both of my uh, aerators on this just because I don't want to chance losing any brim, but I promise you one of these aerators is enough to aerate this, this amount of water I got in this tank. I actually was using Energizer batteries earlier just because I got them on sale. But these are just the everyday batteries or ever ready. Man, they work just as great. If, if you don't know, I, I have we have a Duracell plant here. I got a couple guys I know that work there, and they literally just change the labels out. The, the batteries are the same. So nine times, as long as there ain't no China batteries, the batteries are going to last the same amount. You could actually invest into some rechargeable batteries. I thought about doing that. I just hadn't really got around to that. Like I said, I mean, one pack of these batteries, two bucks, and they're, they're going to last me three or four days.
This is the next morning, uh, Friday morning, 6.30. I'm just going to change that water out. I'm going to change about two-thirds. I'm going to let two-thirds of it go. Leaving about a third of it in there and fill it back up. I got an outside shed here. It's, it's nothing fancy. It's got a cover on it. It's open. And this is this week here. It got up to the hundred. It got up to a hundred. And all week long, it was high nineties. So I mean, it's it's really hot outside. But this water stays cool as long as you keep most of that. You know, it's got a little. You can see a little bit of sun on it right there, but it's it's nothing to to affect it. And I got a good, I don't know, nine to twelve brim in there. I think I had one or two in there before I dumped those other ones in there. This is 13 hours later when I get off work. Ram's still doing fine. Water's still cool. I'm just going to do the same thing over again. I'm going to drain it out, put some more water in there. I end up getting up the next morning pretty early and go fish all day long. Don't get home to about 10 o'clock in the evening. I still have like four or five brim left when I get home. Put them back in the tank, turn the aerators on, get up the next morning, and go fish again. And I, from Wednesday till Sunday, I never lost one brim. I still have that brim that has the line hanging out of its mouth. I, I ended up actually, when I left Saturday, I fished with live brim. And when I left Saturday, I had one that was on the hook, and I reeled him in. And I took him off the hook and put him in the tank and he was alive the next day too 
These brim are real hardy. They're probably the, in my opinion, the easiest bait we have around here in South Carolina to keep alive. This is a uh, Saturday evening, and that's Sunday morning. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.